hello, this is my next daily devotional, and I got my Bible here, so <clears throat> right now I'm going back to the, um, going to the book of Genesis, and you're probably wondering why I started with Exodus. Well, I started with Exodus because, the reason why I started with Exodus, because Exodus would have been the first book of the Bible, because Moses, after they had, he had taken them out of Egypt, they, they were all forgetting, like, the creation is like, Guys, you're forgetting everything. You're forgetting the, the creation. You're forgetting Adam and Eve. You're forgetting Joseph. You're forgetting all those kind of pe important people that you need to know about. And so, so right now, so that's why I'm going back to here because he wrote Genesis and Exodus and Leviticus and Numbers, um, all the law, the five books of the law. And so, right now I'm going back to um, Genesis. I'm going to start at the beginning. I'm not going to read the whole chapter. I'm just going to kind of say in my own words. So, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of the of God was hovering over, hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God, God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day. In the darkness he called night, and there was an evening, and God said, Let there be vault between the waters, and separate water, and separate the water from water. So God made a vault and separated the water under the um, vault from water above it, and it was so. God called, um, God called the vault sky, and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day, and God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let the dry ground appear. And it was so. <clears throat> so that's what happened first. And so he did the dry ground land, and he saw the waters and said it was good. Then God said, Let the land produce ve 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 like veggies and seeds and um, flowers and plants and trees and all that kind of stuff. So after that, and so we did that according to their plants bearing um, seed, according to their kinds of trees bearing fruit with seed, and according to their kinds. God saw that it was good, and th there was evening and morning the third day. And God said, Let there be light under the walls of the sky to separate the day from the night. He let them serve signs to mark scared times and days and years. And he put the sun and the stars and the moon and everything. And so he went on. He did the animals and mountains and and he and then he right now <clears throat> and so right here and God said let the land produce living creatures animals and and now so God was wild animals according to their kinds the livestock according to their kinds and all the creatures move that move along the ground according to their kinds and God saw that it was good then God said let us make um then God said let us make mankind in our image in our likeness so that there is may a rule over the fish in the sea and the birds of this in the sky, over the livestock and the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind as in his own image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase the number. Fill the fill the earth with all that kind of stuff. So he went through. Then God said, "Give you every seed-bearing plant, and face the whole earth of every tree and seed in it. They will yours. For, they will be yours for food." And so everything. And evening, and the next morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were com were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work that He had been doing. He finished the work he had been doing. So, so on the seventh day he rested all, um, and from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on the, on the, on the rested from all, and he, on it he rested from all the work and create of created that he had done. So that was what I was going to do today, and that was just really interesting for me because God, he had created the whole thing, and um, later people keep on forgetting. That's why um, I, I, I'm here to help you, to tell you, and I'm, and I'm sure there's many other people who, who are here.
who are here that are doing this. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> thank you um, for watching, and I'll see you later. And, oh, yeah, when, what that really went to me is that God can do anything, no matter what. And he, and he chooses people to, to remind other people about it. And you can be that person, too. Anyone can. We'll see you in my next daily devotional. See ya.